Hey, headdresses. Thanks. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. So in three. Hey, madam, you have directed the whole season. What kind of direct this one? I bet you sit down, relax, and sit down. Everybody good. Okay. Three, two, one. Action. Welcome to the hairdresser season one finale. In this episode, we would like you, our audience, to get a glimpse of what we experienced on the set and also how a popular and sensational musician visited the set and pulled a surprise act. Let's go for a quick break. Welcome back. I am Victoria Adela Lidobe, the director for the Hairdressers TV series. One of the challenges I faced on this project was because we didn't have um, the opportunity to shoot every day as some series get to shoot, like shooting two weeks straight. And that's because of the salon. We can't stop them from working. They work from Mondays to Saturdays. So the only available day for us to shoot is Sundays. And obviously when we say we are waiting to shoot every Sunday, it's going to delay. So we had to fix in some weekdays. And doing that, we had to be prepared to shoot overnight. So we had to wait for them to close. At 6 p.m., we come in, set up. Our setup will be done by 8, start shooting. And we have to finish the episode by 6 a.m. So we always had to make sure every episode is done shooting. Okay, uh, then yeah, man, I me at Because this is the only night she has, right? This set has taught me to know how to work with different characters, different people with different attitudes. Those who get angry easily, those who are calm even when they are supposed to be angry. It also made me experience new talents. It made me know that there are good talents out there, but are not discovered. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Oh, you've already met your new colleague, have you? KK, come. This is Kwamichi. KK is my favorite character. He's my favorite character because, one, he's a no-nonsense person. Two, his first day at work, he was like all over the place. Even at a point, Madame introduced him as the new employee. His, his demeanor, as in when Madame called him, how he turned just to answer Madame. Like the drama and how the other ladies were like, who is this guy? Ah, who puts this could you be CIA? Ah, why don't you go and ask him? Is he not standing right there? Is it Madame who him? He fell from the sky. I'm so glad there's a man amongst you. Now there will be less gossiping. You ladies gossip too much. Hello, I'm Jackie Ankara. On the hairdressers, I own the salon. Now that's our boss. The least said about this woman, the better. What time do you people come to work in my absence? Same time, oh madam. I'm Madam Gifty. So I have a few girls working with me and recently I brought a man because I felt like the gossiping was way too much and I needed a male to control them and teach them better. But it turns out... I'm sure she has a mental issue because her students don't like her. Oh, you know her? Ebio, I know her. Even her boyfriend dumped her last month because she is such a diva. Okay, wait. Is this the man who is supposed to help us mind our business? <laughs> he is a gossip. The man gossips a whole lot more than the women, so I don't know what to do, but it's been a fun journey. I've learned some things I didn't know before. I've met some people. I've fallen in love with them. It's been great. 
I remember when I was told that I was going to be given a boyfriend who was maybe what some 20 years my junior that scared me <laughs> as in real life I think I prefer men a little older because that's where all the money is <gasps> So, so my sugar boy comes in and I'm not sure what to expect, but it goes really nicely. And I remember he was a little nervous when he met me. He wasn't sure what to do, how to touch me. And they would say, touch her, kiss her, hug her. And, and, but my son didn't enjoy that episode because he says, mommy, why did you let that man kiss you? Why did you let that man close to you? But it was fun. All in all, I've got to say, I really enjoy the hairdressers. <coughs> Madam. Please, is he your son? We haven't been introduced. Hello, my name is Ajele Gladys, playing the character B in the Hairdressers TV series. The journey has been good so far. Um, I was always looking forward to joining a project that would expose me more, that would tell producers and filmmakers about me. And I would say Hairdressers has been that stepping stone. Good morning. Good morning, madam. How was your night? It was fine, praise God. Thank God. Are you the new worker? Yes, madam. Oh, my name is Beatrice. Hmm? But friends call me B. Simply because of that, some people who think we wear similar uniform <laughs> also call me B. My role was a bit challenging because um, with other productions, I'm usually given the cold character, fierce character. But with the character B, hmm, I'm a mother, and at the same time, I have to deal with my colleagues who are way younger than I am. Young woman, you are gaining some weight if you ask me. Or oh, you've bagged yourself a sugar daddy too. First of all, no one asked you. Second, yes, my latest catch is your father. And he's taking very <clears throat> good care of me, as you can see. My favorite performance is Stars in the Salon. Yes. Um, starts in the salon because it summarizes my character profile. I don't have any problem. She don't have the problem. Why wouldn't I have a problem with you? When you are always on your phone chanting, baby, baby. What exactly has this baby gotten you? You need not to be told about who B is. I changed from being um, mad at a fear to covering up for her. Um, looking all guilty. Madam, I admit, he said, Dimo, please you. deliver me. Please give her the last chance. She I she keep complaining. Another chance will not help a person like her. Please. I think she should leave. Madam, I am just here staring at these girls because, well, it looks as though they don't know who they are pleading for. Hi, my name is Desiree Ifwa Kainsel, and I play the role Gina, the receptionist for the hairdressers. Uh, Gina. Tina is a no-nonsense person. This one that you are coming at me smiling. Is everything okay? Yeah, I expect me. I'll not be staying there any longer. I just want you to know that I didn't I'm not interested. Save it. For who made me concern. You know you can be very rude. Yes, I do. Hello. Thanks for reminding me. When you come to the hairdressers, there are two people who are no-nonsense people. One is a lazy person. Uh, I didn't say that out loud. And the other no-nonsense person is the only graduate. <coughs> the only graduate in the salon. Yes, uh, Gina wants more out of life than to be just the receptionist to the salon. So, as a graduate, with first class honors in economics and uh, business management. I think you should listen to Kiki's advice. Mm. Yes. And secondly, I urge you to cut down on the free services rendered to family and friends. My favorite performance, I think that would be the episode where, was it the wife and the side chick? met at the salon and there was a fight between the two of them. The Gina character was supposed to just, you know, be quiet and observe, but I added a touch of flavor to it by, you know, cheering them on. I took, I took my phone and I started videoing the act. And when I realized that Madame was coming from 
behind. I just dropped the phone. I started trying to pretend as if I was, you know, trying to settle them, ask them to, you know, stop fighting and all that. Yes, that was, that was, anytime I see that scene, I, I, I smile, I laugh, because it wasn't in the script. I just added it to it and it made it beautiful. He added up to it. If you can handle it, where's yours? I can't wait to make yours mine. Hey, 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 hold it down. Hold it. Hey, 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 Rosina. My name is Akusia Menua Painto. I play the role of Efia. Efia is a very, very, very lazy girl who, um, who doesn't like nonsense. I mean, she doesn't like to hold anything in her. Everything that she sees, she will say it. She just doesn't want to hide anything. Have you swept this place? Yes, and even mopped. Is this how you clean your house? I can see some people refuse to greet when they come in. Oh, really? Hmm. What they know how to do is to school people on sweeping. Ah, I was only asking because this place still looks dirty. Yet you are the only one sitting doing nothing. What do you want me to do? The place is already clean. The character, I was so okay with the character because we all have a little bit of laziness in us. And personally, I'm the type of person who likes to, you know, talk her mind. So it was easier for me to be a lazy person and to be a no-nonsense person so my favorite episode was um stars in the salon i came in late and i burnt a client's hair ah! what's wrong with you and my madam was very angry so she was like See that she sacks me or she she gives me a punishment. I was like, okay, I'll go for the punishment. And she made me sit outside to wave. She prayed for me, anointed me with water, <laughs> and made me sit outside to wave cars. Hey, madam, madam, it's cold. Shut up. I'll deliver you from whatever satanic, demonic spirits are tormenting you. No spirit is tormenting me. The best we can do is to pray to God and leave everything in His hands. Okay? Everything will fall down. Hey, holy God, Jesus! Why? Hi, my name is Linda Kamenza, and I play the role of Hannah. So my character name is Hannah. So what has been my experience on this journey? I think it has been very, very exciting and insightful because I was pushed. I I think it has been one of my biggest challenges as well because ordinarily I like talking. And so when I was given a role that wasn't supposed to allow me to talk a lot, I felt myself cringing at some point, but um, with time, I was able to overcome that and then do it well. Hannah's character is one that um, makes it look like she has no flaws. She is quiffy, she is holier than thou. They call her Holy Come Mama Jesus. Everything she does, she associates it with God. Even if it's supposed to be like radical and very, very logical, she does not do that. She does almost everything and associates it with religion. Hannah. Yes, ma'am. What do you have to say? Well, madam, since we are doing the very best we can, I suggest we fast and pray. Yes. I mean, there's nothing God cannot do. So my favorite performance on the episode was the day I was allowed to talk a lot so like I mentioned, I'm someone who likes talking. So that day that um, the episode's title is Man of God. So good to my yakata. Buddy, you are here. Yes. Let me get my mother. Hey, wait. You are fixing me. Ah, this soja cannot wait, so please. I feel so accomplished. Looking at the fact that I have saved Madame from that useless fellow. And then I have saved her. Salaries as well. Ah, I have done so well. Oh, Hannah, that was the smartest move. Hi there. I respond to the name Samwa, Bake with the Kiteria, aka Bake with GH. And also, I'm playing the role as KK in the Hedges series. So, KK is 
a nosy person, someone who behaves like a girl, and also someone who doesn't mind his own business. Hey girls! <laughs> Today, I have some headlines for you guys. Come. Today, Madame came in with a hot, sexy guy. And they were doing lobby lobby. <laughs> hey. My favorite episode, um, the newcomer. <laughs> When Efia said, um, are you straight? I said, are you of Infa? No, I'm crooked. Look at this That's why I love him. Hey, are you straight? No, I'm not. I'm crooked. People get to recognize me and that has been a plus for me. I quite remember last week I went to Kanshi Market and come and see the market women. Hey, 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 no cry. <laughs> so I then um, bought words and those masks and just fixed it for people to just stop calling me KK and other things. But it's, it's fine. Um, apparently people were just saying, texting on Facebook, Instagram, that ah, boy, you're gay and that thing. It's just a character, what you're saying. It's just a character. KK, why do you buy anything? You girls are bad friends. So you need to tell me, you don't know today is my birthday. Ah, Abrante. Eh, who, if you a pet, when you have to hide, you will have and I dare show you in Jesus Christ to know when your birthday is. Gina. Why do I even have a feeling you are even lying about it? Why should I lie, Gina? Today is my birthday. Mm. Happy birthday. Thank you, Hannah. Did I just hear someone say birthday? Yes, madam. Today is my birthday. I had my birthday on set and Miss Bell passed through. She was the one who sponsored my birthday and on that day I was very excited. Miss Bell, due to. Oh well, this is your lucky day, sweetheart. You see, Bella here, she's the worldwide minister of enjoyment. Gift is right, darling. Nothing makes me happier than throwing parties for people, no matter how small. This is not fair. This is not fair at all. Nobody sang a song for me. Come on, song. Birthday song. Nobody sang a song for me on my birthday. Talk less of birthday parts. Madam, mm -hmm. I am your first and most diligent worker in this salon. Yet you have never bought a liwa for me on my birthday. Hey, can you all just stop nagging? It is obvious that I like KK better than any of you. You girls, when I'm not around, all you do is gossip about me. You think uh -huh. I don't know? <laughs> Madam, who said KK doesn't gossip? No. Ho. Oh. <laughs> KK, he's not like you. Bella, please order us a cake and some drinks. I got you, girl. Let's party! the candle and make a wish. Gina. Hey, Anyana, tell me. What, what, what is that? Okay, so my name is Magdalene Williams and I play the role Mrs. Madeline Aite, a.k.a. Honorable. I went to see my younger sister earlier, you know. She put to bed last month, so I had to attend a christening in the U.S. Wait, you mean you went all the way to the States just to attend a baby christening? Well, so Madeline is a very classy, stylish, diplomatic woman who is still living in past glory, you know. So my husband is a politician. He has, I mean, he had money, but now Charlie Sikano has But me, as I am, I'm not accepting that. So I'm still living that bougie, that classy life. But you know what? The money is finished. <laughs> I knew it was you. Look at you. You thought I wouldn't find you, huh? Um, excuse me, do you know me? <laughs> Are you pretending not to know me? Hmm? Oh, 
Why you late? Um, it's been a long time. I said take your time, okay? Let's go outside and talk. <laughs> there was nothing to talk about. Just pay me my money and I'll be out of here. Will you stop this embarrassment? Gifty, the owner of the salon, is my best friend and I love her so much. I don't even understand my loyalty to her. I think it's a bit questionable, but I think we're going to find out why I'm too loyal to Gifty in season two. But I go to her salon always. Oh, although I'm the least like client by the hairdressers, I don't care about it because she's my best friend. I go there all the time. But the thing is, there's one problem about me. Because she's my best friend, when I use her services, I don't pay. Her. Can you imagine? And there's this girl in the salon. This one girl who always disrespects me. Her name is Gina. I'll pay all my bills today. I even have some pounds. I'll go to the Forex Bureau today, get some local currency and sort you out. So you better change it. Forex badze. The last time you came here, you said you're going to pay your bills via mobile money. Gina, I said I'll pay. Is it 500 CDs or even a thousand that I can't pay? Do you know how much my husband makes in a month? He can buy this entire salon and everything in it. Hey. Uh -huh. Madam, who is paying your husband in opposition? Shut up over there. Mm, wow. These are nice hairs. Don't yeah. You Do I you like them? Oh, I love, love, love oh, them. Oh, then I think I should be bringing more of these to sell them in here. Oh, please do. Think? Please do. I think they'll do well here, actually. Oh, great. Oh, mm, there's such room. a sweet person. What are friends for? You know, friends are here to support one another and Definitely. each other. So I'll support you no matter what. Definitely. So just go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. Friends are supposed to pay for their goods and services. Any friend that's collapsing your business, you need to cut and them. And who called one to here? them off. But well, she does have a point though. I mean, you can't keep doing this. You come in here, you take goods, you don't pay. You're giving them the wrong impression. Best it's not nice. Whose side are you on? Their side or my side? Why do you keep doing this thing all the time? I'm running a business, not a charity. Huh? You can't keep coming in here and doing sandown all the time. Cafe in a car. you time with that number that I will pay everything I owe you. When Just are you give going me some to time. pay? When? Look Soon. at the dollar. Dollar and Joffrey. Dollar and Gallop. If it's Joffrey, okay, pay. Okay, I'll buy pay. Cafe in a car. What kind of friend are you? From down to dusk. I be a wingy. I say my own tea. They circulate. The hairdressers. Gong, gong, sir. Make you no go find your trouble. You go give up. To talk is a big wish. Be like fishing in the ocean. When it was amber, we caught big fish. Your name is better than riches. But to talk is a big wish. Mati mati, ake ake. When it was amber, we caught big fish. Get the bell whistle, oka. Can't see your best sauce for the bar. Get the bell whistle, oka. Can't see your best sauce for the bar. Get the bell whistle, oka. Can't see your best sauce.